I'm so into you. That was a Jack Ross song God sang to me today on my run with him. And also the way he makes me feel, guys, like he is so into me and my family. Like yesterday, um, by the God tree and I'm texting my family and I'm saying, look, this name Emmanuel, it means God with us. So after leaving the tree, I go and I saw a speed limit of a sign. The speed limit was 30, so I went to page 30 of our family's website. And can you believe that verse showed up? Said they shall call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. So I took a picture, sent it to my family, say, yay, 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 God is with us, guys. Fast forward to me coming home last night, you know? The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, okay, guy, talks to us. So this is a book by my my bedside and it my spirit just said nick go to today's date and look what showed up guys can you guys see it it says behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and he shall be named emmanuel how is that possible guys for me under the tree texting my family emmanuel meaning god with us see the 30 speed let me go to page 30 that verse showed up emmanuel meaning god with us Last night coming home, you know, after a rough day, guys, this was just God's way of saying, Nick, chillax, chillax, my boo, I got you. And honestly, I went to, to bed in such peace that knowing that God would go to such great length to let me know that he's with us, you know? So I want you guys here with me, man, just knowing without any doubt that God's presence is, is with us. But I love the message. It says the virginity of Mary is not only corporal, but also spiritual. It means a total dedication to God, a consecration, a marriage with him. It, and there was a prayer saying, Mary, most pure mother, obtain for me the grace to dedicate my whole life with all the strength of my body and, ser and soul to serve God. So it's about a total dedication to God's service. And it says our lives will not be without a total dedication to God. Our lives will not be fruitful. Okay, guys. So what that means for me and why I struggled so much yesterday, because my mind keeps getting stuck on the disappointments. You know, and it's a big problem for your girl here. I'll be really honest with you. So, Carrie's the one, my God influencer, he's teaching me about forgiveness, guys. So he said, you just have to keep focusing on the blessings and not the disappointments. So, it's a constant struggle that we're gonna have to keep doing it, guys. So God is very funny. I was looking back in my rear view mirror and I saw a lady patting her head. And that was my reminder from God that when I used to do the same thing, whenever my mind gets stuck on these negative thoughts, I would start beating my head with a stick. So God was saying, Nikki, come on, come on, come on, beat your head with a stick, get back to that. Okay, guys, and let's focus on the blessings. Let's not focus on the disappointments and the negative stuff that come our way. And God gives me so much to be thankful for today. I'm wearing my Julie's hoodie. And you wouldn't believe yesterday the conversation I'm having with that daughter. I told her when she becomes a Supreme Court Justice in the United States, guys, we're dreaming big, you know? We're not playing it small with God by our side, guys. I say, look, there's two, two laws I want you to enact. Like, first, I want you to abolish that this irreconcilable difference that people can get divorced for. I say, forget about that. Whatever you go through, whatever you have to go through in this marriage, you, have, you must stick together. You must make it work. <laughs> and then I told her the, the part about the infidelity. Like, you should not be allowed to get divorced for infidelity. You have to learn to forgive, you know? So I said, Julie, those are two, uh, two laws I want you to get rid of. <laughs> She's saying, Mom, I'm not going to get rid of those because people have to do whatever they want. I say, no. But that's where the relationship with God comes in. Yes. The government can't force us to forgive. But that's where our relationship with God comes, that we can dedicate fully our lives to Him. So that at every moment, every second, we're just asking Him, God, what is it that you would have me do? God, what's your perspective on this situation that I'm dealing with? 
you know, what would you have me to do, you know? And just having our appointments with him every day. Like I go and I run to my tree and I sit down and I say, God, what do you have to say to me? And that's where he teaches me his values, okay, for my life. And his values and principles are working. You know, talking to Julie yesterday was just like the happiest mom, you know? So guys, this is where I want us. Every moment, every second, God, what is your perspective on this situation, on this relationship, this circumstance that I'm dealing with? What would you have me to do, God? And I want us making our rolling with God a lifestyle, guys, all day. And the 1,000 decisions we make every day, that we're going to God and living our best lives with Him. You hear me? Living our best lives with God, following in His ways. What I told my support group today, I said, I'm going with Tupac. We got to change the way we think. We got to change the way we eat. And we got to change the way we treat each other. Okay, guys, I'm blown away about all the love and support I'm getting from my brother, Jason. He's just showing up as God's angel for me because I can't get over like uh, the car that I'm driving from him. How the 11-7, you know, 11-7 is my number from God. It's 7-11 and 11-7. And it's just God saying his invisible presence is with me. So I came here to the U.S., trying to muster up the courage to get our business back again, get it on pause and get us doing the family hustle of selling cars again. But you know, that's why too, I said we gotta change the way we think because in my mind, I wouldn't think I can't do it. Like God say, Nick, you can't do it and you have me with you. And how God showed up for me in the BMWs because we didn't have the key. Jason had taken the key to the Bahamas so he told me, Nick, I left the title with your assistant. She has a title. And can you believe on this title, the 11-7 showed up three times. It showed up in the title number. It showed up in the miles for the car. And even it showed up, the title was issued on 11-17, 11-7. So three places on this one title was God's way of saying, Nick, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm with you. So you see how Jason was able to come through for me? And that's the way it should be, huh, guys? That's how we should be treating each other, supporting and loving each other, you know? So this is where I want us, guys. Just learning to forgive. Nobody's perfect in this life, especially in our homes, guys, okay? We gotta just be these loving representatives for God. I call the hubby today. You know, there's some bills that we need to get out. I say, I'm in the U.S. He's in the Nigeria. I say, honey, what do I need to do to help you with these bills? We need to get these bills out. <laughs> you know, so just go it overboard in love and support, guys. And forgiveness. Okay, I'll never forget that day. I'm in that food store crying, bawling, crying because of this sign that says, in a loving family, nothing is unforgivable. Okay, so in a loving world, nothing is unforgivable. Okay, guys, let's just be God's people out there, being his angels like Jason. Say, no problem, Nick, I don't have the key. Well, I'll make a key for you. I have a guy. Just call him. Tell him what you need. And the guy delivered on the key. I've been driving this car, just constantly reminded that God is with me because there's no way my 11-7 showed up three times, three times on that title. No coincidence, guys. This guy just overwhelmingly making me aware of his presence that's always with me, no matter where I go. And he's with you too. So let's dedicate our lives fully, fully to God, a marriage to God, guys, that all day, hey God, what is it that you would have me to do? And let's just listen to his voice. When his spirit said, Nick, go specifically to this page. You know, he's talk, he talks to us, you know? So that's where you need that alone time with him so you could hear his voice, learn his voice, so you can make the best decisions for your life, okay? Even I ask him, I say, God, I have a lot on me. Can I stop the blogs and the blogs for now? And under the tree, he had me to go to the page that says, no, no, you can't. <laughs> so let's all be God's representative out there, doing our best, giving our best. Everything we eat, everything we drink, everything we say, let's do it all for the glory of Papa God. And I promise you, 
He will give you more, 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 more than you can ever ask or imagine. Peace.